This is going to be a quick, easy tutorial how to install KeyCAD 5.1 on Ubuntu 18. And I'm going to show you how to add the DigiKey symbol and footprint libraries. Let's get started. If you like it, please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, first open up your terminal. Do this by going to Show Applications and typing in Terminal. I always like to make sure that this is on my favorites. So, once your terminal is open, we're going to go ahead to our web browser and we're going to come to the KeyCAD download website and this link will be in the description below. You can see it describes two different installation methods here. One using the software manager and the other using the shell. Now I prefer using the shell and this is the way I'm going to demonstrate today. So first of all we're going to copy these first two lines sudo apt add repository and sudo apt update. And what this is going to do, we're going to copy and paste these into our terminal and this is just going to take a minute or two to run and what this is doing is adding the repository where KeyCAD pushes its binaries that they build from source we need to press enter on the apt update once that one finishes and then updates our local cache so our computer knows where to find the pretty much the application so then you can see right here it shows the sudo apt install install recommends method now I don't recommend using this method since it installs a lot of other stuff including a bunch of other languages, but if you're a non-native English speaker, that might be the way you want to go. So for now, we're going to copy this line with the no install recommends keycad. We'll come back to our terminal, paste it, and run that. And this is going to download 231 megabytes. You can see here. And so just press Y, enter, and wait for that to finish. And this will take a couple minutes depending on your network speed. My network speed is pretty good, so you see this won't take very long. So while we're waiting for that, let's come over here. And since we use the no install recommends method, we also need to install the KeyCAD libraries package. And this is a meta package that includes a link to the KeyCAD symbols, KeyCAD templates, and KeyCAD footprints package. So we get all those useful things um, that we can use inside of our schematics and PCB layouts. So in order to install those, we type sudo apt install keycad libraries which I've gone ahead and pasted make sure not to include the colon there very important this time you see we haven't done no install recommends and in fact you need to install the recommended packages so that's very important so we go ahead and we press enter you can see this is going to download five gigabytes so this one's going to take a little bit longer great now that finished downloading and installing we actually have keycad installed and go show all applications type in keycad and it should be right there. And so now, first thing we're going to do is create a new project. C pressing this button right here, create new project. Let's go ahead and create a new directory called KeyCAD for all our KeyCAD related files. And this is going to be also where we're going to put the DigiKey libraries later. And let's create a project and let's name it Intro because this is the introduction project. So we press Save and then we can see right here we have our PCB and schematic. So we're just going to double click on each of these to perform a couple first time tasks. And you can see right here we're going to use the recommended copy default global footprint library table. And now the first time I did this, I forgot to install the KeyCAD libraries package and so it was grayed out. So if this is grayed out for you, you need to go back and install the KeyCAD libraries package. So let's go ahead and press OK. That'll take just a moment. I'm going to enable acceleration. And now that is finished. So we're going to X out of that. We're going to come back, double click on the schematic. We're going to go through the same thing for our global symbol library table. Once again, using the recommended option, press OK. OK, and now that's done. So now that we have that installed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the DigiKey symbol and footprint libraries. So first thing, we're going to come over to the DigiKey GitHub, which this link will be in the description below. We press the clone or download button and download zip. And this, I'm going to save file, and this will download the archive with the symbol and footprint libraries. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. We're going to extract it right in place. Just go ahead and extract it. Show the files. And we can see right here in our downloads folder, we have our extracted directory. We're going to copy these first two directories, digikey footprints.pretty and digikey symbols. We're going to copy those, we're going to move them over to our KeyCAD directory that we just created inside of our home folder, and we're going to paste them. 
we're going to put them there. So now we're going to come back to KiCad. Once again, we're going to go back into our schematic using the schematic layout editor. We're going to go to Preferences, Manage Symbol Libraries. And right here, you can add this either to your project specific libraries or your global libraries. I prefer adding this to the global libraries since the DigiKey footprints and symbols I'll use in almost every project. So, very important right here, we're not going to press the plus, we're going to press this one, the folder, Add Existing Library to Table. We're going to go ahead to navigate to our KiCad directory, go to the DigiKey symbols, very important. Once we're in the schematic, we're using the symbols and not the footprints. The footprints are for the PCB editor. We navigate into that directory and you can see all the different symbol libraries here. So, we're just going to go ahead and add them all at once, press Control A, Press open, and now you can see all of these DigiKey libraries are added to our KiCad symbol table. And in fact, they'll be able to insert them inside of our schematics, which we can see here. We can put in a uh, DigiKey battery holder clip right here, or whatever other component that you need. And this is straight from the DigiKey library, and that part number can be found on DigiKey. So now, close out our schematic layout editor. We're going to discard the changes since we haven't actually created anything. We're going to go to PCB New, or the PCB Layout Editor, as it's called. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Preferences, go to Manage Footprint Libraries once again, and here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to press Add Existing Library to Table, the Folder button, once again, this one's a little bit different. As you can see, what we need to select here is the DigiKey Footprints.Pretty. Very important. We select this directory and we just press OK. We do not need to go in and once again Control A and select everything inside there. So we press OK. And now all of the DigiKey footprints are added. And we can see that by pressing the Add Footprint button. Waiting a moment for it to load, and then scrolling until we see the DigiKey Footprints library. And you can see they have all types of common, foot common footprints, including 0805, 1206, and many other different components that are extremely useful in your projects. So now we press OK, we finished. Remember to like and subscribe. If you like what you saw, we have gone ahead, we've installed KeyCAD, and we've added the DigiKey symbol and footprint libraries.